channel, Tanya Estelle, and I am with Shawanya the Artist. Yes, so today we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree gingerbread decorating, DIY decorating uh, gingerbread houses. So, um, not only from Dollar Tree, but this is just a candy from Dollar Tree, a couple other stuff, and then this is from another store. So, but hey. It's all good. All right. All right. We are getting ready to start the process of the gingerbread. So we're gonna start with the installation. So we're gonna take this tray here and just start, poke a finger through the plastic and just start assembling the house. Oh, smells so good, so good. Smells really good. I'm ready to eat it. This big old cookie. Mm. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll make some ginger snaps something later. Okay, now that I've got my food out, uh -huh. let's get started. So it comes with uh, one, two, three, four, five, five big cookies. And we have the front of the house and the back of the house. And we have the roof with the shingles on it. Cute roof with the shingles. <laughs> and we have the two windows. Um, <laughs> holding it the wrong way. <laughs> but we have two windows. I think those are windows. <laughs> Or the side of the house, yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah that's the window. She's holding it correctly. I was wrong. <laughs> I thought it was a window like this. <laughs> I didn't know it was the side of the house like this. <laughs> okay. All right. And film. It's a, a massage icing pack until icing feels smooth and consistent inside to start the flow of icing. Cut a small opening at one of the corners of the icing pouch. Be sure not to cut the opening too large. Your icing is now ready to squeeze. Line the four canals, canals of the simple start <laughs> tray with a thin strip of icing. Okay, here we go, here we go. I didn't massage it, but that's okay. I'm gonna just, warm it up. I'll just go. <laughs> uh, they they could have gave us two packs of frosting. They know that there's some people out there who are a little bit challenged with this. But um, I did the best I could. See, I put some in there. I don't know if you ever see it's too white. Anyways, mm, <laughs> let me taste it. Oh, that doesn't look like too much. It's gonna come out just great. Watch, you watch, you guys watch. You wait and see, this is gonna be amazing. Uh, dang it. The, the fireplace goes in front of the house. It's it a little, little bit. it's a little. Okay. Well, my fireplace will go in the front of the house. And I have to put my sidewalls on. I'm just gonna slide it in. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. We are building. Build and they will come. 
That's right. Going in side house. <laughs> oh, it's leaning. It's leaning. You have to press it down to make sure it's secure. <laughs> All of the... Okay. <laughs> looking good, looking good. Let me take some off right here. Let me put some outside. Oh man, what a scissor or knife. Yep. Just gives the house a little texture. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. Let's see. With the fireplace and the shape of it, the it's allowing the roof to be lopsided. So I don't know why they put it on there it. in the first place. <laughs> Okay guys, I don't know what the instruction says, but uh, we probably should be letting it sit for a minute so it can mold. Unless you had like um, a blow dryer. <laughs> it's gonna melt. <laughs> that blew out. Be a little break here. We have to wait a few minutes before we start decorating. So from here, we're gonna come back to you um, showing you all the process of how we decorate. time for the easier part decorating so yeah here we go Part. I just found out one side of my house is like caved in or well two trees right up there in the front and then a little snow pathway to the door where the elf is at and um, oh I'm missing a polka dot um, a candy roof at the top 